Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interestinglife.com and if you're hoping to see this video be an amazing union between myself and a inflatable kayak, unfortunately, as soon as this kayak was inflated, I discovered it had about a 3mm hole on the underneath. So that instantly made it well, useless. Uh, so yeah, I thought I would just put this in here to say I have not had a good experience at all with this. Still trying to sort it out and decide what I want to do. But here's the video of the unboxing anyway, and ah, oh, how excited was I! Anyway, that's your um, filler for what actually happens after this video is filmed. So now you're informed, enjoy the video, and just think of what could have been. Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and I am very excited to have this big old box here. As you can see, we have got an Intex Challenger K1 kayak. Uh, it comes with the pump and the oar that you see there. And well, I'm just going to dive straight into this. It's too exciting not to. Right then, we'll just have a quick look at what you've got on the outside of the box here. Pretty much your standard fare, and this, once again, is too exciting to spend too much time not actually looking at the thing itself, especially as it needs inflating. So, I suppose it's about time that we got the good old scissors out, and ultimately, let's dive in. The real trick here is going to be trying to open it in a way that's actually going to be viewable to the camera. So I'm not used to unboxing things that are quite such a size. Let's check that we're in view here. This is the dramatic moment of revelation. And there's literally nothing in there that, I've got to say, it's just about the cleanest unboxing I've ever seen. So, next up, let's find out what it looks like on the inside. You can see this is a pretty handy bag. And everything, including the pump and the oars are in there. It's a fair old weight, to be honest. But what I'm intending to do is, oh yeah, I should explain really, as I do live on a boat, the actual weight and transporting this thing isn't going to be that big of a worry to me, because I can literally put it off the back of the boat, straight into the water, and never actually have to step onto any dry land. First things first, we've obviously got our oar here, oars, whatever the technical term is, And fair play, this all looks really substantial and a lot a lot sturdier than I was expecting. I'm a, we're only a fraction of the way into the um, video here and already I'm starting to look at like this is going to be a lot better quality and a lot more solid uh, little floating kayak than I was expecting. You can see um, these are going to be simple to slot in. You've got the little uh, press buttons that will pop up into these holes. We'll have a look at it all properly in a second. Then here we have got our pump. Once again, this is fairly self-explanatory. But what we really want to see, and goodness knows how this is going to end up on a uh, film, is our actual kayak itself. Now, you can see you've got a couple of separate parts here for the seat and various bits. 
of the, the uh, little fins that go underneath to help you keep in a straight line. Obviously also your instructions there. That looks like some kind of seat to me. So this is already far more substantial than I was intended or expecting it to be. As I like said, I managed to pick this up for about 70 quid off Amazon and I'm already thinking that this is going to turn out to be one of the better purchases I've made this year considering it's only the second week. Wow. I hope you're prepared for this. Look at that. So, as it's all flat here, and there's also a cat coming dangerously close to the canoe, oh no, don't burst it already, um, you can see that we have totally taken over my friend's house. So, I think what I'm going to do here is have a proper inflate of it now and get to grips with it all, show you what it's like when it's inflated, and then I will do a proper video showing how, it's, uh, how it all goes together and that, and... Hopefully, tomorrow morning, as it's getting a little dark out there now, I shall also be filming the first ever canoe, uh, kayak trip, rather. Amazingly, it's taken hardly any time at all to get this inflated, so I'm very pleased about that. Uh, yes, yeah, I suppose, really, like I say, subscribe, because there's going to be a lot more of this on the canal to come. Uh, so far, first impressions, really good quality. Everything seems really sturdy. Like I say, something like the oars, for example, feel like proper or it's not something that you would associate with a rubber dinghy <laughs> and ultimately it's time for me to get this down to the canal please remember you also need a license for these on the uh, british canals <laughs> and on that note i will say thank you very much for watching check out my other videos for a load more life on the boats walking climbing all sorts of outdoor stuff and until the next time as the little cat strolls up here with his claws i'm going to say Thank you very much for watching and farewell.